hello guys i hope you're doing well in this video we are going to learn how to stop this annoying microsoft uh, auto update uh, pop-up or the request that is coming in your dock so this is the microsoft auto update which helps in updating the microsoft applications on your mac but if you do not want this to uh, appear in your screen or on your system what you can do is you can turn it off so basically there are a few things that you need to do uh, to completely wipe out this microsoft auto update so very first thing what you need to do is you need to select this uh, logo and go to system settings and within the system settings switch to general and in general you have this login items and uh, there are certain uh, items open at login and there are some things which are allowed in background so if you scroll allow in background you can see microsoft auto update which is allowed in background so what you need to do is you need to turn off this toggle and uh, just uh, verify that you want to just uh, turn it off so there are other options like microsoft licensing if you want to turn it off you can also do that if you are not using microsoft account or anything so uh, these are the uh, residuals which were there in my uh, system uh, which i recently removed from my uh, mac so once you have uh, turned off the uh, microsoft auto update it will not uh, allow the background checks and you will not have this uh, microsoft auto update app which was appearing apart from this there are certain things that you need to do uh, so for example uh, you need to remove the files which are there in your uh, mac so in that case what you can do is you can uh, select this go command uh, make sure you are in the finder uh, if you're not on the finder you can just select this finder close it and uh, select this go and open computer and within computer open macintosh hd the uh, macintosh hard disk which uh, your system is installed now go to library and within the library you have this application support now within this application support open microsoft and you can see this uh, folder mau which is microsoft auto update uh, 2.0 so uh, what we need to do is we need to delete this uh, microsoft auto update so let's right click and uh, move to trash and just confirm with your password once it is deleted you can even delete this folder because it's basically the same thing so you can just uh, delete this folder if you want now the microsoft auto update app is deleted there are certain other files the preference or property list files so for that what you need to do is you need to go to the library page uh, which is uh, within the uh, macintosh hd and within the li library page you need to go to the uh, launch demons so yeah this is launch demons and within the launch demons uh, you have this microsoft uh, auto update helper list so you can just uh, m select all this uh, microsoft if you are not using any of the microsoft services for example onedrive and even uh, not uh, even the microsoft edge you can just select this all uh, uh, property list files and then you can just uh, move to trash so uh, let me verify this okay so these are these files can be removed and uh, if you're not using you can also delete these uh, licensing file okay uh, once uh, you have cleared with the uh, my launch demons uh, you need to go to again to the library folder and within the library folder uh, you need to go to uh, launch agents so within the launch agents you have uh, again the microsoft update agent so there are uh, one two three microsoft uh, files that have been uh, added so you can just choose to delete these as well so once these are also cleared uh, you would be able to see uh, everything in the trash so once these are all deleted uh, you can just uh, simply restart your system and once your system is restarted you will no longer be having the issue or no longer be having the pop-up saying a microsoft auto update need to be updated so in this way you can remove the uh, microsoft auto update i hope this helps let me know if you guys have any questions cheers have a great day